Welcome to Electron Online. When we discovered that the entire universe was expanding and we looked around us and in every direction galaxies were moving away from us because the light we received from those galaxies was redshifted, well, that made us think that perhaps we are in the very center of the universe. But of course, it didn't take long to realize that that was not the right way to think about it. So anyway, let's try to figure that out. So here we have a pictorial of what it looks like from our vantage point. Here's our Milky Way galaxy. This is where we live. We live in one of the spiral arms of the galaxy. And as we look around in every direction, we see galaxies moving away from us proportional to their distance. So assuming that this is one megaparsec and the Hubble constant being about 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec, then this galaxy would be moving away from us at 73 kilometers per second. This one being twice the distance at 146 and this one at three times the distance, 219 kilometers per second. But it doesn't matter if we look in that direction or look in this direction or this direction or this direction or diagonally. Notice that this one is moving a little bit faster because diagonally this distance is greater than this. And so you can see that 103 kilometers per second is the square root of 2 times 73 kilometers per second. Approximately, of course. And so you can see that, yes, from our vantage point, that's indeed what it appears. And so you can say that if you're one of the raisins, so if this is our Milky Way galaxy, then of course all the galaxies would be away, moving away from us, just like the raisins in raisin uh, dough that's expanding because of the yeast. But of course, it really doesn't matter what galaxy you're on. So let's assume that in a neighboring galaxy right here, we have another habitated planet, and we have some aliens living on that planet. And they look around, let's say they've uh, mastered the technology, they built telescopes, they look around, and maybe they have an equivalent Hubble on their planet, and they look around and go, wow, look at that, the whole universe is expanding. And so they look around them, and they see that, yes, this galaxy, of course, they would have a different name for it, besides the Milky Way galaxy, it seems to be moving away from them at 73 kilometers per second. And they look over in this direction, and this galaxy would be moving at 73 kilometers per second. If you look at this galaxy, this one would be moving at 73, and this one here would be moving at 73. Oop, not 37, but 73. That's a little messy there, 73. And they would look at this galaxy, and this one would be moving at 103. They would look at this galaxy, this one would be moving away 103. And they would look at this galaxy, and this one would be moving at 146. And this one would be moving at 219. And this one would be moving at 292. And this one would be moving at, uh, let's say, 365. And they'll look in this direction. And this one would be moving this way at 146. So you can see that from their vantage point, the whole universe would be moving away from them in the exact same way as it appears that the whole universe is moving away from us. So relative to our neighbors here, they would look around and they see every galaxy in the universe moving away from them proportionally to the distance in the exact same way as we would see that happening. And so it really doesn't matter which galaxy you stand on, you would see the exact same result looking in all directions. The entire universe is expanding uniformly in every direction. The distance between objects and galaxies are moving away from, from each other proportionally to the space between them. Twice as much space, twice as fast. So again, the analogy that space in between the galaxies is expanding and the galaxies are simply along for the ride is just like the raisins are expanding inside the dough, just like the dough is the raisins are along for the ride as the dough itself expands. And that is what's happening in our universe. Space expanding, universe expanding, galaxies going along for the ride, kind of stuck in space. It's almost like if you had a three-dimensional spider web and all the flies stuck on the spider web and then you grab it from all directions and you pull on the spider web, making the spider web bigger, all the flies would move away from each other. And so that's exactly what's happening to the galaxies. They're kind of stuck in space, space expanding, galaxies are moving along with the ride, along uh, as the ride. And so therefore, this is what's happening. We're not at the center of the universe. There's really no way to tell where the center of the universe is, if there's such a thing as the center of the universe, because from all vantage points, it looks exactly the same. And that's why we can say, we are definitely not at the center of the universe. We really don't know if there is one. And that is the way it is. I thought you said there wasn't one. We don't know if there is one. 
I would say, I would leave it at that. There could be one. Well, this is heresy, you know. I know. That's not what's typically taught. Yeah, but then, you know, you're going to get locked in the power. <laughs> <laughs> the astronomy tower? The astronomy tower. <laughs> well, I'm happy to say we don't know if there is one, and if there is one, we don't know where it is. How's that? I'm good for that one. <laughs> I don't think I have to worry about that one. Yeah, we live in a different world.